Nolagen here at La Crepe Nanu. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we're on a travel search for the best French food options in the New Orleans area. And we are visiting La Crepe Nanu, a neighborhood French restaurant which specializes in classic French bistro cuisine with a New Orleans twist. La Crepe Nanu is located in Uptown New Orleans at 1410 Robert Street, which is about 15 minutes and 4 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is a very popular neighborhood restaurant that's tucked away near several other popular food establishments. La Crepe Nanu packs a lot of interesting spaces inside what looks like a smaller building from the outside. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. This French bistro was established back in 1983 and has been consistently rated as one of the top French restaurants in the area. So you're invited to eat with me at New Orleans French Food Feast as we enjoy two dinner experiences here. And you can see they have some really interesting areas here and a menu of specials here. So they have jumbo lump crab cakes roumelade, they have seared pompano filet, and an 8 ounce cheeseburger with palm frites. I've actually never had the cheeseburger here before. Well, let's go and explore the dining room spaces over here. So you get an area with a nice window on this side with a little bit more daylight coming in. And you get some nice seats with paintings next to the tables under the windows. And then you get some other tables a little further away from the windows that probably get even more light there. Now we're going to go to this back room, which is quite ornately decorated. So they've done quite an interesting job of decorating everything in here. So you certainly get quite a nice, pleasant vibe back here as well. And the chairs look a little more comfortable back here as well. So I kind of like this back area sometimes uh, a little more than the front area, depending what's going on. Uh, overall, though, both spaces are pretty darn comfortable, all things considered. Although I'd say this back area is probably a little more premium if you're trying to rank things there. And there's certainly some pretty interesting vibes going on here with the artwork. So you uh, certainly are not going to be bored. Now here's the table back under the windows that I'm going to be seated at tonight. And let's check out this menu now. So we have hors d'oeuvres with moules marinaires, escargot de bourgogne, gratin de fruits de mer, riz de veau, fondue, assiette de fromage, soupe à salade, soupe à la oignon gratiné, salade chèvre chaud, salade tropicale, salade niquoise, avocat vinaigrette, avocat crab, plate principale, saumon grill, crevettes au vent blanc, filet mignon, côtelettes de arbano, escalade du veau, a la carte, haricot verts, pommes frites. On the other side, we have crepe de nez with crepe au crabe, crepe bourguignon, crepe au écrevisse, crepe au crevettes, crepe oignon fromage. Then we have dessert with crepe nanou, vanilla, coffee and chocolate ice cream, toasted almond, chocolate sauce, crepe lucie, strawberry, vanilla ice cream, chocolate sauce, crepe antillaise, banana, vanilla cream, chocolate sauce, crepe au café, coffee, ice cream, toasted almond, crepes au chocolat, crepes au sucre, Café Lijois, espresso, vanilla ice cream, and mousse au chocolat. So, since I've never had the cheeseburger before, I had to get that. Now, I have had the palm frites here before, and I know they're pretty darn good. So, this is uh, quite a nice, juicy, delicious looking burger from the appearance of it, but we gotta take the taste test to see how it really is. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here, and overall, it seems to be pretty well cooked I would say. There's a nice juicy delicious flavor. There's a lot of uh, good structural integrity going on so far. There's uh, still a good amount of tomato and lettuce on here. It's not in uh, those one piece uh, big slices of lettuce though. It seems to be in a bit smaller chunks of lettuce so that tends to help with structural integrity in my experience. So overall, we seem to be having some good meat bun ratio. Structural integrity is holding up really nicely. And we have a nice uh, combination of some vegetables, some cheese, and that meat. And the bun is also quite nice as well. So it's a pretty darn good burger overall. Each and every bite so far is going down very easily and effortlessly. 
with plenty of good flavor in each and every bite. So this is an enjoyable burger. And it certainly has plenty of that beefy, delicious flavor that I crave. And the juices are nice and wonderful, beefy goodness with each bite as well. And I am enjoying how everything's going together so nicely. So this is overall been a pretty darn good burger experience, I would say. Now we've got to dig into these french fries. So here we go. And uh, just like I've experienced in the past, quite perfectly fried. So some very nice pomp frites, AKA french fries right here. So these are certainly going to make most people pretty happy. Although they do have quite a few fries on the smaller size. Okay, here we go with our last bite. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. And while you're down there, make sure to go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $22.92. On my next visit, the specials were a watermelon salad, a seafood risotto, and a cheeseburger again. I decided to start out with a beautiful French onion soup. Ho ho ho, look at here. Lots of cheesy, ooey gooey deliciousness all around here. Ooh, look at all this beautiful cheese. Oh, and all the wonderful beefy goodness underneath. And let's go ahead and do our best to dig in. But this is not an easy dish to eat neatly, so let's see how I can do it. Ooh, here we go. We've got all kinds of beautiful, ooey gooey, stringy cheese going everywhere. And some wonderful beef flavors in there. And everything is certainly having a very nice, delicious flavor explosion on my tongue with each bite I'm taking. So this is definitely one of the top French onion soups in the entire New Orleans area. And there's always a little bit of a scuffle for the very top position. So that will uh, certainly be something to consider at some point as to who does actually have the best French onion soup in New Orleans. As there's actually some places that aren't French restaurants per se that do a French onion soup in the New Orleans area. So there's a little bit of debate amongst many people in the New Orleans area about where exactly the best French onion soup is. However, Le Crepe Nadu is always listed at the very, very top of the contender. So if you're in the mood for French onion soup, this definitely is a place to try it out and you probably should be pretty happy with it. As most people seem to really love the version they have here, I find it quite pleasurable myself, as you can tell, as, ooh, look at all this good stuff in here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So you certainly have a lot of deliciousness that's going with each and every spoonful of this molten cheese with the beefy goodness broth and lots of good toasty crusty bread all inside to go together for a simple dish that somehow comes together to be quite delicious. And I, you know, I might even say it's yum, yum, yumminess. <laughs> So this is uh, definitely a pleasurable thing to eat, especially on a cold day. Uh, it's about uh, 100 degrees plus Fahrenheit, uh, even though it's in the evening time and I'm eating dinner, we still have quite really high temperatures right now in New Orleans. So I don't really need to be warm inside or out. However, it's still a pleasant thing to eat. A little more pleasant, cooler temperatures. Uh, nonetheless, even when it's hot outside, I still find it to be a pretty uh, delicious thing to eat anyway now look at all these onions here Ooh, yes so it's going down very quickly and easily and i'm taking it down a little faster now that most of the cheese is gone so just like i've totally destroyed the french onion soup destroy that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up comment below and let me know what your favorite french onion soup is and while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So for my main course, I got my pal the Commodore's favorite dish here, the pan veal with lemon caper bleu blanc and a little side of pasta here. Now I would like quite a bit more of the sauce, as I think there needs to be enough of the sauce to go on top of both the veal and the pasta. Ah, uh, you know, not quite enough really to go around to my flavor profile preferences but will make do. So uh, it's been quite a few years since I've had this dish, actually. 
Ah, uh, the veal is perfectly cooked. It's quite nice. The sauce goes very well with everything. I just want a lot more of the sauce to have to dump all over my pasta as well, of course. Uh, and I'm trying to uh, get the sauce partitioned as much as I can to make it go around. Now, these green beans are also quite nice, and let's give them a taste. Oh, perfectly crunchy, delicious, absolutely perfectly cooked with the green beans. And now we'll sample this pasta here. Some people like plain pasta. I like lots of sauce or red gravy or all kinds of other sauces on it. It's uh, got a little bit of that uh, sauce on it, but not much. Uh, you know, it's perfectly al dente, cooked absolutely perfectly. It's still plain pasta without a lot of sauce, new gooey cheese, and other stuff on it. It's not my favorite way to eat it. It's just uh, pretty plain Jane. Like, literally a little olive oil even on it probably would make me a little happier. Maybe a little olive salad dumped on it even would be quite nice. Ah, well, so, you know, I'm just a sauce person. Now, these green beans have everything right with them. Nothing else I would want with them. They're perfectly great the way they are without anything else. The green beans just have so much good flavor and vibrance on their own. I'm happy plain Jane. This pasta, I'm trying to get a little more of that uh, wonderful sauce on there. It's just not enough, though. So, maybe next time I gotta ask for extra sauce. That's uh, gonna go into my little hint book of what I need to remember to do. Sometimes I forget those hints and I lose those things quite easily. I write so many things down they sometimes disappear. Has anybody else had that experience yourself? Comment below if you've had that. Now, uh, some people call that old-timers disease. I don't know, right? So, here we go. Take down this uh, pasta pretty quickly, though. So, it wasn't the biggest serving of pasta. This certainly isn't an Italian restaurant where they're going to give you a huge pile of the pasta and the veal on top. They were definitely separate entities of their own right. And the Pan Bill certainly with the pasta is pretty nice as well. They do kind of combine well together, especially when you have a little of that sauce to uh, make everything kind of go together a little more nicely. And I uh, certainly am enjoying the veal more than the pasta. And I'm enjoying the green beans more than the plain pasta. But overall, still a decent meal. Not my favorite dish overall, though, because of the lack of pasta sauciness. So the solution clearly would be just to order more sauce next time. Okay, we're taking this down pretty fast and quickly, and this perfectly cooked veal is very nice and flavorful. And here we go. So just like we totally destroyed this veal, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this pan a bill. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $48.14. So thanks so much to everybody at La Crepe Nanu for many years of fantastic times and good food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts who would enjoy it, as that really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.